Hello everyone, I'm Alec Mel Valentine Dark and welcome to Cloud Knights, a swing and slash developed by Astro Snout. It's a game that just launched on Steam recently for Mac OS 10 and Windows and it's currently 15% off at 594 Euro. Now, what is a swing and slash? I have no bloody idea. But apparently it's a unique physics based slash em up game where you are once of nights jumping through the clouds and battling enemies through your campaign of glory apparently. Now there is a versus mode which is quite odd, uh, it's one on one dueling, it's not really my type of thing but there are 60 levels in the campaign mode. And well, let's get straight in and see what this game is like shall we. Now let's go to single player and hopefully this isn't too awkward, I don't see that it has any whatchamacallit it, controller support, so this might be really awkward. Slowing down a strike before impact will reduce damage caused. Okay. Hold assigned buttons to swing your weapon to that direction A and D by default. Move left and right only with your weapon. Hmm. And to continue, now the game is Unity based, so once you launch it, it will have the little Unity launcher where you can select the graphics and options. So, uh, wait, what? What the hell is this? So my guy swings his sword like a, a bit of a fool. So as I swing the sword, I build up momentum. Okay, so I'm just holding in A and D to change direction as my guy swings his scimitar. The art style is quite nice, I like the music, but this this doesn't seem like a, a proper PC game. This looks like something you'd get on iOS or Android Play Store. This is exactly what this seems like. Like I can't jump, can I? It's just A and D. And the enemies are the exact same, but of different lengths of swords. Okay, uh, well, it's good to know that I'm getting around 680 to 1000 FPS, but it seems to be, you know, a bit silly that you don't really need that much. Oh, because I've got a new weapon. Okay, so that's A and D to move, so I've got a broadsword now. And yeah, all I do is hold in A and D. A if I want to go left, D if I want to go right. That is literally all of it. And if you touch their swords, they get blocked. It's just momentum based. You swing and the more you swing the higher and faster you go. Um, is this it? This is literally... This is it, yeah. Okay. Hmm. I'm honestly not impressed. I thought this was going to be a, a hack and slashy type thing. What was this it? A swing and slash. But it's literally only two buttons, A and D. A makes you turn to the left and swing to the left. D makes you do to the right. And the enemies seem to all so far be the exact same. Just with different weapons. Oh, yeah, okay. There isn't really much to say, but this is it. I was kind of excited to give this a shot, but at the moment, I really couldn't care. Double kill! Okay, one more level. Defeat the pink knight in the feudal- so I, there's a pink knight now. We'll keep the scimitar because it's got a faster swing. So I can't kill the pink knight. Oh, defend the pink knight. I can't swing my weapon because I got stuck there. Okay. That axe wielding guy is pretty annoying. So I have to defend this pink dude. It's the exact same model, just recolored. Okay. Like, there's nothing else to do, just 
zip hold in AOD depending on which direction you want to go in. Lightning scimitar should kill them a bit quicker, I think. Yep. Yeah, this literally looks like an iOS game. Even with the big pause button up top. Like, I like the graphics and art. I, I just like the art and the colors. But that's all I like about it? I mean... There's nothing really to this. Yeah, and I just got a Steam achievement saying I'm indestructible. Yeah. Okay. Uh, folks, I guess this is Cloud Knights? That's literally all the game is. A and D, to change the direction of you going and swinging your weapon. That's it. There are little power-ups. You get blue stars, you get electrical sword, a weapon. That's it. Um. Yeah, it looks like an iOS game. I'm not impressed. I'm not impressed. So, uh, yeah. Bye. For a key.